You know, I heard this said before. When you really love somebody or when you're loved by somebody, you really don't have the fear of rejection when it comes to them. You just don't. Like when you're around people that love you, there's a there's a there's a vulnerability that is produced when you're loved by someone. Like when you're loved by someone, it it it's almost like it gives you permission to be the most vulnerable you, the most authentic version of you. Um, and it's beautiful. But I've learned that there are those who we have relationships with or we are in relationships with or we are associated with. We don't always sense love. And you'll know that you don't sense love by the feeling of feeling unsafe. Now, feelings can be tricky, and I'm not saying all the every time you feel unsafe means that that person doesn't love you. But when you're not clear on how someone feels about you, the lack of safety will be the sign. And if there's one thing I know, rejection will always be the reason that we don't run to a place that's considered safety when we're anticipating rejection. Sometimes love looks like understanding. And I want to stay there just for this message alone. Because I've talked about the throne of grace in so many videos, but this is something that's so special. The Bible says that we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with us. You get what I'm saying? Meaning, just what the Bible says, that Jesus literally went through everything we went through. He faced every single temptation we faced. I think that's so special. He, listen, God understands. <sighs> he follows right after that with, and so because of this, therefore, come boldly before the throne of grace, see, that you may obtain mercy for your failures, see? And the Amplified, it says, we can come with confidence and without fear. Fear of what? Rejection. The reason why we don't really run to God if you ever notice when you find yourself in a cycle of kind of pulling away from God, you're really afraid of his rejection. You have the mirror up and you can see your sin and you can see your shortcomings and you can see your flaws, you can see your faults. But you didn't understand when the Bible says perfect love cast out all fear. And so I'm learning that when you know that you are loved by God, it actually empowers you to draw closer to him. And the, the, what I'm trying to get across is we can run to God, not just because he loves us, but his lust for us is what allows him to say things like, I understand. No, I never sinned. Tempted on all sides, just like you, and didn't sin. But I understand what you're going through, come to me. That's it. And I just, if we can get people to really hear the voice of God, understand the gospel of Jesus Christ, what, what the cross did for those who have accepted him as their Lord and Savior, we can run to God with confidence, without fear. That looks like daddy. I'm here. I messed up. And we're met not with the strong hand of judgment, but with son, daughter. Thank you for coming home. Now let's begin where we last left off. That's the love of God. Knowing that you're loved by God doesn't make you want to continue on doing.
stuff that doesn't please him, it empowers you to say things like, okay, God, what would you have me do? 